What is going on everyone? My name is the California Cougar and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Team Venusaur Edition. Last time we made our way up through Route 23 showing everyone our badges and we are now in Victory Road and we're actually almost all the way through it. So yeah, like I'm not sure how long this part is going to be. I might even fight a few members of the Elite Four. Not really sure yet. But first things first, we gotta finish Victory Road, so let's get that started. We'll do that by fighting this guy. Yeah, I actually looked on Bulbapedia. Apparently, I've already gotten all the items here that Max Revive and the TM for Overheat were last ones. Anyway, we've got Finn out against this Kingler here, so we'll just use Thunderbolt. And there we go. Alright, level 48. Alright, at this point, we gotta start looking at, like, where is everyone at in levels. Okay, so he's almost there. Okay, I can get Poseidon and Valkyrie there, I think. Alright. So, we'll go ahead and send Godzilla in. Alright, so he's got a Poliwhirl. We'll just use Razor Leaf. There we go. Tentacruel. Okay, so... What do I want to do with Tentacruel? Should I send an Arcanine? Yeah, because again, I gotta look at... Okay, Poseidon and Valkyrie are the ones I'm concerned about. We'll send in Shere Khan. This is a bit risky, but I think we can I think we can take it out. It does have clear body, okay. But we can take him out with a couple strengths. Ow, oh, freaking barrier. That's annoying. Cause now this is not gonna kill him. Now he's using Bubble Beam. Wonderful. That's gonna hurt. All right. Damn it! I did not think he was in Hyper Potion range. I need a crit to kill him. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Not worth it. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, who do I want to send out? I guess Valkyrie. Oh my god, he used Barrier again. Oh, this could be trouble. I'm just going to hit him as hard as I can. Seems like Bubble Beam's his best attacking move. I won't do too much to Valkyrie, so... Come on, give me a crit. Okay. I really hope this one will kill. Please kill him. Good. Okay. Seedra, we'll go ahead and send out Venusaur. And we'll just use Razor Leaf. There we go. Okay, so now he's at level 48. Blastoise. This is where things get interesting. I think... I'm gonna send out Valkyrie. And we're just gonna use Return like crazy. Ah, 
Nice, I did over half. That's good. Oh my god, he just crit me though. Hopefully this will kill. Good. Okay. So, who's close to 48? He's at 48. He's 47, 49 away. Okay. And then... Yeah, these guys are all pretty close, so... I'm gonna lead Shere Khan here. Try and get them all to 48 if I can. Yeah, Shere Khan should be able to get through this battle, I think. I might even throw out Valkyrie there for a couple of them. <laughs> but yeah. So the last guy specialized in water Pokemon. This girl specializes in grass Pokemon. Which is perfect for Shere Khan. Okay. Weeping Bell. Um, let's switch to Valkyrie here. And we'll just use Return. I'm not gonna waste time using Fly. Return should kill him. Weeping Bell has pretty bad defenses, so. Yep. Oh, I was hoping that would get us there. Alright. Victory Bell is up next. We'll switch back over to Shere Khan. Alright. Now we'll just use Flamethrower. That should take care of him. There we go. Hmm. Parasect. So he's sending out Parasect next. Let's switch over to Poseidon. Do a weird move here. Now we'll go ahead and just use Ice Beam. There we go. Unfortunately, Parasect isn't really worth much when it comes to experience. But, we'll send out Valkyrie here. And we'll just use Return. Yeah, Bug and Grass, so any fire or flying attack is going to destroy Paris and Parasect. Alright, there we go. Level 48 for... Ooh, and we're learning agility. Hmm. That could be useful. The problem is, I like my moveset a lot. Like, Feather Dance will be useful later. I'm gonna keep my moveset. Like, agility is a good move. It, it sharply boosts your speed. So you'll basically be guaranteed to go faster than any Pokemon, but I think my moveset's just better. Anyway, we'll now switch over to Sidon here. And what we have to do now, we're going to have to use Strength. And we'll just drop down this hole. And then we just use strength again. And you might notice what we're doing here. Like you see that rock in the middle just to the left of the ladder here. It's like blocking off the path to the ladder. Alright. And there we go. Push, put it on that button. And there we go. Now... I think I'm gonna go ahead and heal up Arcanine a little bit. 
We'll just use we'll use a lemonade on him. Just so he'll have enough energy to get through this battle. And we'll fight these two. And yes, this is the last set of trainers before the end of Victory Road. They have a Nido Queen and a Nido King. So yes, I got Sheer Khan and Poseidon. They're my two level 47s. Now, honestly, I think Queen scares me more, so we're going to try and get rid of her first. I'm going to go ahead and use Flamethrower, and then we'll use Surf. Surf will hit both of them. Yeah, see, that barely did it. That didn't even do half. But luckily, Surf does enough to kill. And now it's going to hurt King a lot as well. Nice! Got the crit! Let's go! Mmm... So I didn't even need to use that potion. Yes! Okay, Poseidon did get there. Good. Alright. Wasn't sure if, if he would. Unfortunately, Arcanine is a little bit short right now. But he's not that short. And there's actually one trainer in Kanto that I have not fought yet that I can fight but first things first let's talk to this guy so yeah you battled your way through victory road and this guy is offering to teach double edge it's a normal type move pretty powerful and I think I'm gonna teach it to Simon and I'm gonna make him forget brick break I think yeah, Brick Break is a move. Like, I can always buy it at the Celadon department store if I want to reteach it to him. But yeah, Brick Break doesn't really cover as much in the Elite Four. At least not that something else can cover. But yeah, anyway, we are out of Victory Road now. A couple more items I think we can grab on Route 23 here. Alright, so yeah, that was one of them. Lumberry. Let's see, let me make sure that I'm getting all of them here. Alright, yeah, okay. And then there's one more hidden item here. And I believe it's right here. Yes, there we go. Okay. Now, we just make our way through this maze here. And we are at Indigo Plateau. This is where the Pokemon League is. Go ahead and heal up our Pokemon real quick. But again, there's one more trainer battle that I'm going to do. And to get to it, we're going to have to fly somewhere. Yeah, just come in here to heal. Alright, so let's go ahead and fly over to Cerulean City. I believe that is the closest. Alright, so yes, your con is in front. And we go up here. So yeah, remember this? Cerulean City, back here at the beginning of the game. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna use a repel here. I have the repels to spare, so might as well use them. But yeah, we couldn't surf here before. Now we can surf here. And here we are back in Cerulean. And you might notice this cave here. But yeah. This guy's like, you have to beat the champion first. So yeah, he's not going to let you in until you beat the champion. But yeah, anyway. This is the trainer I have not fought yet. So yeah, my Pokemon are pretty overleveled for her. Yeah, she's got a Paris. Level 31. So yeah, you could have fought this girl back when you got the Surf TM. So yeah, we'll just take care of take care of this Paris real quick. And there we go, level 48. At this point it doesn't really matter. 
because it doesn't really matter with experience. We're just gonna defeat her. So I'm just gonna use Arcanine to defeat all three of them. Actually, you know what? I'll use, I'll use Valkyrie. Yeah, Parasect actually gives off physical attack EV, so killing one of these things would give Valkyrie more physical attack. So yeah, and Valkyrie's a physical based Pokemon, so yeah. It's two attack EVs, I think. So yeah, after all you did to catch him. Bitch, you got you just got you're under level as hell. You really thought you could beat me? Level 48 Pokemon. But yeah. That is all the trainers in Kanto. Now there's a couple more things I want to do here. First of all, actually, I'll go to Cinnabar first. Yeah, there's a couple things I want to buy from the Cinnabar Mart that you can't really get anywhere else. So we'll go ahead and buy a bunch of Hyper Potions. I think I'm going to buy... I'll buy 10 of them. So we're up to 25. And we'll buy 11 of these. Let's see, full heals. We'll go ahead and buy 8 of those. Basically getting 25 of every healing item. Alright. So that's all we can do at Cinnabar. And now, we will fly to Fuchsia. And the reason we're flying here... Let's see, is it this one? Damn it, no, it's the other one. I can never remember which one of these two houses it is. But yeah, we want to talk to the move deleter. And I am going to get I'm gonna take strength off Shere Khan here and you might be wondering why am I doing that strength has been one of your like main moves there's another move that he's gonna learn before the Elite Four and you'll find out what it is pretty shortly here but yeah that's all we wanted to do here um let's see now actually something I haven't done in Pewter yet. And unfortunately I need Cut to do it, so... We're gonna grab Meowth. Oops. So we're gonna grab our Meowth here. And we'll just drop... We're gonna come pick Pidgeot back up, so... Yeah. Literally, we only need Meowth for like two seconds. So yeah, I come up here. Yeah, and you have to cut down this tree. So we do that, and then we go in here. And we talk to this guy. And he gives you the old amber. And he's like, get it examined at a lab somewhere. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going like, to go ahead and pick up Valkyrie out of the PC. And then go back to Cinnabar Island and go into the lab. So we'll pick up Valkyrie. Yeah, last time we were at the Cinnabar lab, we picked up Kabuto. And that's what he looks like. Yeah, he's at level 5 right now. Pretty garbage. And you know, scratching hard. So, yeah, that's why I don't use fossil Pokemon. At least not in this game. So, yeah. Anyway. We're now going to fly back down to Cinnabar. And we'll go into the lab here real quick. We gotta go back to where we resurrected Kabuto. So it's in this one. And 
and we give him the old amber. And it is a fossil of Aerodactyl. So now we go back. And yes, Aerodactyl. It's a rock and flying type. Basically looks like a pterodactyl. <laughs> or a Bronodon, however you say that dinosaur's name. Yeah, it's a rock flying type. Very, very fast, good attack. Pretty good member of any team. Good flyer for your team. But again, he's at level 5, just like Kabuto. So, yeah, if you don't want to train him all the way up from level 5 this late in the game, then you may want to use someone else. But otherwise, he's a good team member. So, yeah, now we're in Celadon. There's a couple things I want to pick up here. First of all, we're going to go to the top of the floor and buy some stuff. We're going to go to the vending machines. And there's actually a couple things you can get that I don't think I've showed you yet. So, yeah, we'll pick up... So we go up here, go to the vending machines, and let's see. What do I have? Alright, so I need five, nine, and eight. Okay. This will take a little bit. Basically... Okay. Nine of these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then eight of these. And actually, I'm going to buy one extra of each of them. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Alright, that's okay, we got an extra soda pop. Alright, and if, you, if she stops running from me, alright, if you talk to this girl, you can give her a drink, and she gives you a TM. Yes, that is the TM for light screen. Basically raises your special defense. So that's what you get if you give her a fresh water. If you give her a soda pop, she gives you TM20, which is for safeguard. Basically prevents status moves from being used on you. Now if we give her a lemonade, she gives you TM33, which is the TM for reflect. Basically the physical defense version of light screen, like raises your physical defense. So yeah. Those are a couple things. Now we gotta go back to the game corner. I hope I have enough time to do all this preparation. But yeah. We're gonna go down to the game corner here. Let's see, I gotta check the prices first of all. So we'll check the prices first. So let's see, that's Pokemon, that's TMs. We're not going to buy any TMs, I don't really need them. But yeah, so, okay, so we need... And yes, I do want... Or, so we need 3,000 coins. Basically, I'm trying to buy the Miracle Seed, Charcoal, and Mystic Water. Those will power up Grass-type, Water-type, or Grass-type, Fire-type, and Water-type moves, respectively. So we're just going to buy 3,000 coins here. We have the money to do it, so might as well. All right. So we'll go ahead and buy those three items. All right, so we're gonna buy the Miracle Seed. That raises the power of grass type moves, so it'll be a good item for Godzilla to hold. Charcoal raises the power of fire type moves, so give that to Shere Khan. And then Mystic Water will be good for Vaporeon to hold Poseidon because it raises the power of water titans alright anyway so now we'll go ahead and fly over to Indigo Plateau
And yeah, we're not quite ready yet. We got a couple more things to do, but now we're in Indigo Plateau. First things first, I'm going to buy any healing items I haven't gotten already here. Mainly full restores. I'm going to buy 20 of those. Let's see. Alright. That's all we really need to do there. And then, we're going to go to the PC and grab every item we need. Okay, so I'm going to withdraw... We're going to withdraw our ethers. Withdraw all our rare candies. Withdraw our elixirs. Our max ethers. And then we'll withdraw the black glasses. Withdraw calciums. Iron, zinc. Yeah, we'll withdraw those as well. Draw those. And we'll draw these. One stone, fire stone, dire hit. We'll draw that. Alright. So that's all we need to withdraw. So, first things first. I should, we'll go up here. This is where you enter the Pokemon League. Before we do that, I am going to give rare candies to all my Pokemon here. I have 14 of them, so... Yeah, that'll be enough to give, get everyone to 50 at least. And look at that, extreme speed. So that is the move that Shere Khan learns. 80 base power, priority, very good move. Alright, now everyone else here. There we go. Alright. I'm just going to use all of these. Let's get them all to 50. And I can get two Pokemon to 51. go. And look at that. Everyone's at 50 now. And I think the two Pokemon I'm going to get to 51 are Shere Khan. And I think... Let's see, who do I want to do? Val I'm between Valkyrie and Godzilla. We'll do Godzilla. Alright. Now, we're going to use our PP Max here, if we can find it. And I'm going to use that on... Actually, no, I'm going to do that on Thunderbolt. So it increases Thunderbolt's PP to 24. So yeah, nine. All right, now we have seven PP ups. We're gonna give that to Earthquake. We'll do Flamethrower. We'll do Surf. We'll do Ice Beam. I have three left. We're gonna do Psychic. Let's see, do I want to do any of Valkyrie's moves? No, we're going to do um, Mega Horn. And we'll do Rock Slide, I think. Actually, yeah, we'll do Rock Slide. Alright, now comes the fun part. Vitamins. So first off is Calcium. This raises special attack. We're going to give that to Shere Khan. Basically all our special attackers, so Shere Khan, Poseidon, give it to Godzilla, and Finn. Those are our special attackers. Now Iron, this is defense, 
Um, let's give it to give it to Finn. Give it to Poseidon. Give it to Simon. And I'll give it to uh, Valkyrie. Alright, Zinc. This raises a special defense. So Godzilla for sure. Keep Poseidon. It'll be Finn. Shere Khan. And we'll do. Ooh, do I do Simon or Valkyrie? I'm gonna do Simon. I think Simon's more appropriate. Alright. Protein. These are for our physical attackers, so Shere Khan. We'll do Simon. Valkyrie. Ooh, Valkyrie already. Okay, that means Valkyrie has over 100 EVs in that, so we'll give another one to Simon. And then we'll do Shere Khan. Give him an extra one. We're not going to use him on our special attackers. Alright, now speedsters. So, let's do Finn for sure. Valkyrie. And I think I'm going to do Shere Khan. And we'll do Simon. And then these are the last ones. So HP up, we'll do Poseidon. We'll do, um, ooh, who else? We'll do, Va actually, Simon. And we'll do, um, we'll do Shere Khan. Alright. And I think that's it for all the vitamins. Alright, so there we go. At this point, we're just about ready for the Elite Four. And that is what we're going to be doing next time. Let's give items to people. I'll give him the, sh the charcoal. We'll give the amulet coin. Give it to Finn. We're definitely going to be using Finn, so... Give that to Vappy. Alright, not really much else we can give to people right now. Those are the main ones. So, yeah, that is going to do it for this part. Actually, we'll give leftovers to people. That is going to do it for this part, guys. So, make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more episodes to come in the future. And in the next episode, we take on the Elite Four. So stay tuned for that. And until that next episode, once again, my name is the California Cougar. And always remember to stay California cool. Peace.